Hey, housemates! Wanna play Dominant Species? Haha! <laughs> Trick question! Just kidding! We already are playing it! I don't have to tell you, housemates! This is a long game! The game box claims an earnest two to four hours for one game. But I would describe our pace as unhurried, which is why we decided to put our swanky game table to use, running the game inside the secluded basement vault of the table of ultimate gaming, allowing us to close it up and save the game between sessions. Dominant Species is published by GMT Games, which is more commonly known for making war games. And that heritage shows. We had initially thought, and the description on the back of the box makes it sound a bit like, this is just a, a more complex game like Evolution. Let me be very clear. This is not like Evolution. Not even a little. But Dominant Species isn't really a war game either, not really. I've heard it described as a Euro game for war gamers, or a war game for Euro gamers, eh, perhaps. But it's really a style of game called 4X, so named for four descriptive words. Explore the map, uncovering new features of play. Expand our area of influence. Exploit the available resources and exterminate the opposition. The 4X mechanic seems to lend itself well to games themed on intergalactic conquests, such as Twilight Imperium, Eclipse, Among the Stars, and some of the Star Trek themed games. In Dominant Species, each player will get their own species board, which will hold a number of element tokens indicating what environmental conditions the A species needs to survive. These include grass, grubs, meat, seeds, sun, and water. These same element tokens will get used on the game board. Whichever animal has the best access to the resource tokens that it needs will be deemed dominant in each region. Dominance in an area isn't really the same thing as winning points, but it sure helps. The defining mechanism in Dominant Species is the action display area on the game board. The game is played in alternating phases, first choosing your actions and then performing those actions. And both are fraught with hard decisions. In the planning phase, we go around the table, placing action pawns on the board. We may choose any available action in the display. Each row of actions has a different effect, and they're quickly described like this. Add, then remove elements on our animals. Add, then remove elements on the board. Expand the glacier. Add more critters to the board. Add more board to the board. Move critters around, attack other critters, and score points and play dominance cards. After declaring all of our actions, we enter the execution phase. We'll go down the action display track and perform each action one at a time, based on who claimed which action space. Because the planning phase is separate from the doing phase, we have found that our strategy will sometimes shift somewhat after seeing what everyone else is planning on doing. Perhaps we had originally planned on competing for some forest, but based on someone else's migration, it now makes sense to compete for a savanna. These complex decisions laid out over like 12 stages of gameplay Sometimes rethought across two separate phases is why this can be a really long game. Each player acts as one classification of animal, such as birds or insects or reptiles, and each player has access to one special player power. Now personally, I've been playing the mammals in our current game. We mammals are survivors. We're good at hibernating and building dens and 
outwitting predators. So, once per round, when we would normally lose our population due to rough elements, we can instead manage to keep one critter alive and fighting. Every animal type has some other ability, which should help give a slight edge in some situations. Of course, the Ice Age is coming! Whoever endures the massive glacier the best stands to win a bunch of points every round. But when the Ice Age Domination card gets played, we get one more round of scoring and the game ends. The player with the most points wins this really cool Monkey Matryoshka doll set. Housemates, I'll see you at the game table!